Hey, welcome to our unit circle video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to generate the unit circle on your own. So if you're not allowed to use a unit circle on your test, you can create it from scratch without too much trouble. Okay, so we're going to be looking at creating the entire unit circle, all of the angles in degrees and radians, all of the ordered pairs, Plus, we're going to look at generating the table of values for all of the trig functions from the unit circle. And so I'm probably going to break this up into a three-part video. In this first part, we're going to look at generating the angles in both degrees and radians. Okay, so let's get started. First things first, we're going to start at uh, zero degrees. So let me grab my pen here zero degrees and you need to know that a full circle is 360 degrees first things that's the place to start right there okay and then from there we're going to do simple math okay so if a full circle is 360 what is half of that well it's 180 right halfway around the circle is 180 and then if i go half again instead of going from here to here if I only go halfway, what is half of 180? That's 90. Okay, and then if I do half of that, that's 45. So real quick, we've got a good start just by knowing how to take half of a number. Okay, and I do need you to notice that the positive angles are going counterclockwise. Okay, good start so far. Okay, so every fourth here is going to be an increment of 45, okay? So 45 and 45 is 90. Another 45 would be 135. Of course, another 45 would be 180. And we're just going to keep doing increments of 45, okay? 180 plus 45, 225. Another 45. 270, another 45 would be 315, and of course another 45 would be 360. So now we've got all the increments of 45. Now let's do the rest of the circles, the rest of the degrees we're missing, okay? So what I need you to notice then, if I switch colors, these lines here, here, and here cut the first quadrant up into thirds. Do you see that? This is a third, this is a third, and this is a third. So to fill in the other circles, we're going to need to divide by a third. So what is not divide by a third, divide by three. 90 divided by three is 30. And then we're going to do 30 degree increments, okay? 30 and 30 is 60. Another 30 is 90, and then you just keep incrementing by 30. 90 plus 30 is 120, plus 30 is 150, plus 30 is 180, and then 180 plus 30, that's 210, plus 30, that's 240, plus 30 is 270, plus 30 is 300. 330, and then of course another 30 would be 360. And so with hardly any trouble at all, here we have all of the degree angles. Okay, so now let's do radians. So again, we're going to start at zero radians, and you need to know that a full circle in radians is 2 pi. 2 pi is equivalent to to 360 and then we're going to divide by 2 so what is half of 2 pi well that's 1 pi and then half of pi well that's half of pi and then a half of a half is a fourth so then this is going to be a fourth of a pi 
And you see, I can get those, those first few angles just by knowing how to take a half. Half of 2 pi is 1 pi. That's my 180. Half of pi is pi over 2. That's my 90. And then half of a half is a fourth. That's my 45. Okay? And so now if you know how to count by fractions, we can get around the circle doing our increments of pi over 4. Okay? So here we have 1 pi over 4. This would be 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, and 4 pi over 4. Do you understand 4 pi over 4 reduces to pi? So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we're going to go 5, 6 pi over 4. But what does 6 fourths reduce to? Well, that's three halves, okay? So then this is going to reduce to three pi over two. Okay, so count it five, six, seven pi over four. And then, of course, we get all the way around to eight pi over four, which reduces to two pi, okay? So that gets us all the way around the circle our 45 degree increments, which is pi over four. <clears throat> and now we need to go back in and fill in the uh, 30 degree increments in uh, radians, okay? So again, if we go back to this angle, pi over two, and take a third, remember this is a third, this is a third, and this is a third. So if I want this box, I'm going to need to cut the pi over 2 uh, by a third. So a third of a half is a sixth. And so then we're going to count by sixth. Okay, so this is one sixth. This would be two sixth. And then this would be three sixth. Okay, but do you see that three sixth? reduces to a half. So that's how, where we get our half of a pi. And 2 sixths reduces to a third. So that would be pi over 3. Okay, so if we keep counting, we've got 1, 2, 3. This would be uh, 4 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, and 6 pi over 6, but 6 6 is a pi, so that's where we get our pi from. And if we go back to the 4 6, 4 6 reduces to 2 thirds. So there's our 2 thirds, okay? And then we just need to keep counting by 6, okay? So then the next one here, this would be 7 6, 8 6, 9 6, but remember, 9 6 reduces to 3 halves. So there's our 3 halves. And 8 6 reduces to 4 thirds. So we need to go back and reduce that to 4 thirds. All right, so where were we? 8, 9, 10, 6, 11 pi over 6, and then 12. 6, but remember 12 over 6 is 2, so 12 6 is our 2 pi, and the 10 6 needs to be reduced to 5 thirds, okay? And that is how you get all the way around the unit circle with your radians and your degrees. In the next video, we're going to be looking at how do we complete the unit circle with the ordered pairs. And then the third part of the series will be completing the table of values. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.